Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about percussion and hi-hats and your drops, why they're so important, and how to make them stand out, because this is a very important thing to understand your drops for momentum. But before we do that, um, I do need to go over a quick bucket list. My remix competition is coming to a close. You have till the end of the month, which is going to be out on the 21st, so that'll be nine days from now. If you do have the stems, you'll get an email tomorrow just reminding you guys, just like I did with the month, uh, to make sure that you get it in. Second of all, I have an exciting video coming out next week with Danny King. It's going to be a longer interview format, but it's going to have a ton of great info for anyone that wants to know how to work with vocalists, how they work, you know, the business side of it, all, all the good stuff. Uh, so that'll be coming next week. And lastly, I just announced on my socials. So if you don't follow me, feel free to follow me down below. But I'm actually going to be supporting company at his show at The Loft uh, in Minneapolis. So if you guys are in the Minnesota or around there, or Minneapolis area, uh, come out and see the show. It's a killer lineup. Uh, and yeah, I appreciate it. So being said, if you guys enjoy the video, find it useful, learn something, feel free to like it. It helps me out. Also, we're trying to grind for a thousand subs. So hit that subscribe button. And a couple of people messaged me and said that like it shows my videos posted like they'll get the alert that I post a video like a couple days later. I don't know how that works, but you can hit the bell as well. That'll notify you as soon as the videos drop. So, you know, hit that bell if you want to as well. All right, let's get into it. So in my current project, I am working on just it's a whip currently. And I'm going to show you, it's kind of like, um, I don't know, like a halftime drop, kind of-ish. I'll show you the pre-drop, and we'll go through the first eight bars without percussion. And then we're going to add it in, because I want to tell you why it's so important to have. So this is going to be without the first time. Now this is going to be with percussion. Okay, so right off the rip, you can tell there is a very big energy difference in the drops. So why I wanted to make this video today is because I'll get like whips sent to me for feedback. And a lot of the times, Producers just seem to, maybe it's one of the last thing people do in their grooves, but either A, you can't really hear their hats and their rides. And I'll, I'll call it percussion. I know it's not percussion, but that's just under the group here is percussion. That's why I call it that. But I'm mainly talking about hats and rides and crashes. So just to be clear, normally I don't find a groove there. And the groove is very important for your energy in the drop. There's two things I think the percussion is important for. One, groove you have a groove you can set with just your hi-hats alone, like this. Right, so you have... Without that, you lose the groove, right? In other words, and if I get rid of these things that are kind of acting like percussion, then you really have no movement. Right? So it's important for the groove to really complement each other especially in bro step like i it really stands out in this like experimental i don't know whatever you want half time whatever you want to call this but definitely um even in s easy rhythm you know you're having it every quarter note because it helps you with the movement of your drop so one, percussion is really important for creating grooves and movement on top of your motif that you already have. You can think of it as it's complementing, or it can even be like a counterpart if you want to get creative with it, like a counter melody, even though it's not a melody, it's just percussion. You can use it so many ways. So that's the first thing. Secondly, it is taking up the high end spectrum. Your, your 10K and above from your hats and your rides are very important because that adds a brightness, right? So if we don't have this, of course, if we do, it's going to add the brightness to your track, and it sounds really clean. And I'm actually going to touch base on a video I did a while back. I guess I'll link it up there. But synopsis of it, if you don't want to watch it, is pretty much you need to cut out the high end of your basses like this. So cutting out the high end, I normally do around like 10K-ish. Really 
allows your hi-hats to breathe. If you having all this high end from your drop, especially let's say like future bass or something when you're having all these crazy saw stacks and then you're having your bright noise on top of it and it's just taking up the whole spectrum, it's going to be really hard to have your rides and stuff cut through because it's already competing with your basses. So here's what I do. Simple. I just roll it off a little bit. That, that's all I do. I learned this trick. I think it was from a, um, a jaw stream. He does like 7k or something, but genres are a little different. I do like a little more high end in my bases. So I decided to do like nine to 10 K is where I generally find it. And when you do this, you allow for more room. So right now let's do bases here. It's not that bad compared to, wait, it should be a, not at 11. There we go. You can't hear the difference either. Just very minor. But when you're ramming this through your master chain, if you're having something compete in spaces, just like say your sub, right? It's going to get a little murky. And with your percussion, they're very transient heavy. That's how it creates the groove. So if you're already having something that's taking up the space, like up there, and you're trying to have some transient cut through, the transient's going to get lost. And it's going to get a little like, not muddy, because that's more low end, but like high end, you're not going to have the clarity. And I think it's very important to have that. So just cutting that off, you're not really going to notice in your bases and you're going to notice your percussion is going to cut through so much better. Like this, this was a huge mixing trick for me when I first discovered it. And I still use it six months later and it's still so nice because it allows so much room. So once again, we're going to run through it. That way you guys can get final synapses on no drop syllables and then drop syllables or symbols. Bruh. Percussion, symbols hi-hats i call it everything so sorry if the jargon's not there you guys get the point though so without with so long story short make sure you're putting this in your drops it's going to help you a ton no matter if it's rhythm bro stuff experimental whatever have this because the groove is important and it is important for that brightness in your drop as well. But that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you guys are new here and kind of like this learning style material, feel free to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Remember, stay healthy, drink water, and take care.